time-lapse just then just felt like I hadn't done one of those in forever um, and was just doing my makeup sat here at the desk and I just thought oh this would be nice um, this video is sponsored by Fabletics and I'm really excited to be working with them because as you know I've been super into working out I say super into working out sometimes I will only do it once a week but um, I always loved workout gear even just for hanging out in but now I actually do work out in it as well so that is good but i love the fabletic stuff i've got some of it here that i'm going to like try on and show you guys some of the looks that i've been wearing and it's just really affordable but also really great quality like the material is just so nice and like not at all see-through and they have like workout gear and leisure gear so it's not just all like you need to be like running on a treadmill in it there's like an outfit that i'm going to show you that's great for kind of like either doing yoga or if you just want to like lounge around in workout gear it's so comfortable and looks nice that I'll often just kind of put on casual workout gear when I'm just kind of chilling out and running errands and stuff and I love that so I'm going to get on and show you I've got four different looks to show you so let's do it okay so this is the first look and when I do a workout class I wear a sports bra and leggings I don't wear a top I get too sweaty and disgusting in it so I literally just always do sports bra and leggings and you can get two pairs of leggings for $24 if you use the link in the description box and that includes these ones which are my favourites. I just think they're a really cool flattering design. I like how they go like down at the front and the back um, and the nice colour bit on them and yeah that's £24 for you guys in the UK. This is another kind of like working out option for me just plain black leggings that are just super comfortable fit really really well um and just really soft and comfy but on the way to the gym um obviously i don't travel to the gym like this i like to put on some kind of like hoodie or jumper and they have these amazing jumpers so i'm just going to show you guys um i love this one it's just so comfortable and cool and um also i just think this is such a great outfit for just like chilling out and not doing very much i really like the like flared comfy sleeves and um, yeah, it has like a little hood on the back. Yeah, so this is this look. And then I have a blue jumper, which I'll show you. And I think the color of this is just gorgeous. And again, just could be used as like a cover up for before your workout and just kind of keeping warm. So you don't want to get cold before you go and work out um, or for putting on afterwards or just for chilling. And it has these cute like little kind of, it has a little, um, drawstrings there and there so it has like a little gathered effect at the sides just super comfortable i actually love this jumper so much i just wear it with jeans and then like my gold necklaces on the top like this i find this color just really like flattering on my skin tone i really like it and um yeah so comfortable right now um i'm going to the theater later and i'm gonna watch so i want to go and gym gear now oh and on the website you can take a quick little quiz and then it will come up with like a personal showroom of your style so it like helps you shop and stuff and then if you enter your email address after the quiz you can get exclusive discounts so that is amazing and also on the website you can either just check out as a guest or you can check out as vip and that means that you get extra little perks like um, lower prices free shipping stuff like that so that is cool okay i'm going to show you the last look i love these trousers they're almost like summer tracksuit bottoms because they're just really light they've got these cool pockets here have this really like casual style and then there's this cute little like pink sports bra which feels like has a bit more coverage if you don't like wearing a sports bra with nothing on top of it and i think this would be a good outfit for like yoga or for just like chilling in and then if you do want to put a top over the top have this really cool like baggy white vest it has like gaps to the side so you can kind of tie it however you want to i would just tie it like this at the side and then like fold, I always like fold up the back a little bit. And I just think that is like a really cute 
kind of yoga outfit or I mean you could work out in this as well if you prefer working out in kind of looser clothing I quite like if I'm going to a class like wearing like all tight stuff but um this is much more suitable for yoga or just if you're feeling a bit more kind of casual and like you don't want to be wearing skin tight clothing to the gym so yeah those are my fabletics looks um don't forget to check the link in the description box and I will see you guys in a bit this is a very exciting moment guys, it's the first time we're sitting outside, I'm with Kate um, and having lunch outside. Oh the sun's just gone in, just so started vlogging but it's been really sunny. I think it's like 19, 20 degrees in London today. So I've got a jumper on but we're sat outside having lunch and I've got, well we've both got Diet Cokes, food is on its way. This is one of my favourite things to eat at the moment, it's the most amazing flatbread with chicken some kind of like harissa hummus and then i get extra halloumi then this sorry there's a really loud lorry going past um this is garlic dip and it's so garlicky it's almost like spicy but it's so amazing so i'm gonna dip this in that and kate's dipping her sweet potato fries in it oh and my spinach just arrived totally forgot that i ordered this to try and like have some greens with all of the beige. I'm just giving Marth a bit of love before we go out to the theatre and this kind of love that I'm giving her is I always feel really bad about because it's more for me than it is for her because I like to have her up really close to my face and she just constantly, oh, are you tired? She just constantly wants to go on my lap because she thinks that is the most comfy place but I'm like no be close to me. What do you think baby? Got anything to say? Anything you want to say to everyone? No? <laughs> Is she looking into the lens? I think she might be. Oh, you're gonna fall asleep. Go on, you can have a little sleep. Standing up, look, she's standing up right now while sitting on her bum and I'm holding her up. You're so cute. Look at that little paw. Oh my God. I love you. Now I'm letting her have a minute of how she likes to cuddle me, which is to lie on my lap like that. That's how you like it, isn't it? We're in the theatre. Never been here before. This is the Vaudeville Theatre. Got an Aperol Spritz because it feels summery today. Cheers! Cheers. This is the play that we're seeing. Um, it's about a woman from the 17th century called Amelia, I forget her surname, Bassano, Amelia Bassano, um, who was one of the first female poets, but we will see. I literally don't know much about it at all, but it's meant to be really amazing. Hey guys, so I am now on my way home. I am so, so tired. I always get this thing, I probably look awful. I always get this thing when I'm tired. I get a really sore throat and I don't know why but it doesn't mean I'm getting ill it just means I need sleep um, but the play was so so good um, really didn't feel like I think it was almost three hours but it didn't feel like it it was really like captivating the whole way through and I quite like not knowing what to expect like I only knew kind of the bare bones of what it was about um, all this red lights really nice I really enjoyed it it was really inspiring and uplifting and really funny um, I definitely definitely recommend it it was basically about the poet Amelia from the 17th century they showed Amelia through three different stages of her life played by three different actors all were absolutely amazing um, and it was one of those plays where the the when she when it was like younger Amelia well actually all the way through every single age that was being played the other Amelias would always kind of appear on stage and just be kind of silent and just there kind of watching and I thought that that was really cool I love that it was about a really serious subject that really matters and like mattered then still matters today about women not being able to make their voices heard enough and obviously we have a lot more of a voice now but it's still something that we're constantly fighting for but even though it was about that subject and could have been kind of like I've, I've been to see so many feminist plays and some of them can be quite kind of draining and long and difficult to watch basically um this one just made it really really fun and uplifting but also made you leave feeling like yes this is what we're fighting for still and it, it just everyone left just feeling like 
like the crowd was like whooping at the end and um and the woman i don't know any of the actors names who were in it um because i've not looked it up yet and stuff but um the woman who plays the oldest amelia ended the play with like this huge monologue that was just she ended up just like shouting on the stage and just being really really kind of inspiring and amazing and um everyone was like standing up and cheering at the end and then they did like this dance and it was it was just really really cool so i would definitely definitely recommend it um i really want my mum to see it actually i feel like my mum would absolutely love it oh and also it's an all-female cast which is so cool so even like william shakespeare is being played by a woman which i just think is genius and i've never seen anything like that before obviously i've seen all women cast plays before but not with such an enormous cast and with all the men being played by women and they were just so fantastic and the women who were playing the men were also playing women at other times and it, it was just so brilliant but whoever played William Shakespeare I think she was probably my favourite cast member she was just so her comedic timing was just amazing um, so yeah I would say it was like a comedy but also really serious with a really serious message um, yeah, go and watch it. It was really, really good. So I'm, I'm literally gonna go home and crawl into bed. I really can't be bothered to even take my makeup off, but I probably should. Um, yeah. Oh, and don't forget to check the description box um, for the Fabletics link that I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, I hope you guys find some nice stuff on there, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.